What's going on guys? Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Uh, this is game two of the Mudhead Friday Night Football 1K tournament. I just showed you guys the game against PyCam, where it was really crazy. I was getting a little unlucky during the whole game, but then I got the craziest luck ever to win it. Unbelievable game, if you guys haven't seen that already, I'll put a card in the description right above me. Make sure you guys check it out. Um, but we're going to get into this game with Decroft, man. Very, very good game as well. Um, dude's a very, very good player. Um, runs 3-2-5 and trips tight end just like me. You see him starting off on offense here, um, and he's in the trip side end. So, something that I always do, man, um, is I always just do a feel-out drive. Like I told you guys before this first drive, you're trying to learn what your opponent's doing. Try to figure out what they like to do, what they don't to do, what their tendencies are, stuff like that. Um, and if you're able to get a stop, that's a bonus. But the most thing you want to do is make them work. Don't let them give them like, a free touchdown and try to figure out what they like to do, and then you can adjust from there. Um, as always, guys, if you guys like what I'm running on offense and defense, make sure you check out my ebook. It's in the description. Um, the uh, the ebook is trip side down like I run on offense, and then it's 335-odd and uh, Big Nickel Over G. I run a 335 on defense. That's on YouTube already. Uh, but the other defenses that are in there are very, very good. I've ran them most of the year. Just changing up a little bit right now. So right here, uh, you see a nice little dot from him on third and six to pick up the first down. Um, he's moving the ball well, but... We're going to see a lot of his plays. Um, I think that's a good thing. The more you get to see from him, the more you're able to stop him later on. Um, right there, we had a big time chance of a pick. <laughs> it would have been a super lucky one, though, so it's okay that we didn't get it. I'm not going to be mad about that. Um, but good job, good job forcing a completion there. Right there, we sent a ton of pressure, and he sent everybody out. And uh, we took away his first couple reads, and we were able to get... Uh, get a knockdown right there we played great defense Perry Nickerson was all over Randy Moss um, that's probably the best salary cap goon if you guys haven't checked it out he's he can get him 98 speed uh, he's a very very good player um, so make sure you guys check him out if you guys are looking to build a salary cap team he's only 52 cap you can pretty much man him up on anyone in the game um, so we're able to get a pick right there so big time stop first couple plays here um, he plays good defense I end up throwing the ball away and then we try to force one in there and nothing happens so Right here, third and ten. Um, we're gonna take Anthony. Uh, I was about to say Anthony Davis. Vernon Davis underneath. Um, pick up five here, and then big play here. I noticed he was sending that outside corner, which is why I motioned over that fade. I was trying to catch him lacking there, but he did a good job deep quartering. But it is something that I needed. I learned I already need to do throughout the entire game. I have to motion someone over to the other side on the majority of my plays to prevent him from being able to blitz that guy. He's not baselining, so that uh, outside corner is inside. And uh, as we draw a nice little laser. So most of my plays, you're going to see me motion a guy over in order to prevent him from doing that. Um, I don't want to give him the capability to blitz me off the edge. And then just use that side himself. So I wanted to force him to put that guy in coverage. Or if he doesn't put him in coverage, I'm going to get a big time gain. So it's kind of a little bit of a chess match right there. Right here we go double zigs with shot wheel. He does a good job user in. I'm kind of waiting for him, waiting for him to break back on that S post. Never does. Uh, so I try to force it in there. Probably wasn't the best read. And we're lucky to come away with an incompletion. Right here, we miss our drag early and try to throw it late. Nothing doing. We end up throwing out of bounds. So we're kind of, we're on what you, what you like to call right here, a struggle drive. Um, he's forced two fourth downs now. And uh, we've picked up both of them. So it's a struggle drive. But if you're able to get points on a struggle drive, man, that's a good sign for the rest of the game. Um, and uh, we're going to try to try to do just that. Right there, we have a nice little run with Michael Vick. And uh, right here we go to verticals, motion the streak inside just a tad, high ball it up there, and we're into the end zone. So great start for us. We're up 7 nothing with a full stop. We were able to score a touchdown on a drive where we really, really struggled. And now we kind of we have a feel for what he wants to do on, on defense, which will allow us to play better offense in the future. So to, so to be able to score there and still pull that off is really, really big time. Right here, it uh, goes back to the play action. We have nice little coverage over there. We took away everything. We took away his comeback with the cloud, the three rec man to the to the drag, and we took everything away. So that was great defense. Next play here, second and ten. He does a motion out route and picks up a few there. So force the third down. Uh, we just want to keep making him work, man. Uh, the more sh the more plays we can see from him, the better, um, and the better we're going to be later on in the game. So he goes to the verticals there with a the wheel route, uh, nice little dot. Um, to be honest with you, there's not much I can really tell right now um, as far as what I need to do to stop him, considering the fact that he's doing a really good job of mixing up his plays. He's ran the ball some, <laughs> and you see that touchdown right there. There's nothing you can really do about that, but he's attacking all my flats on both sides. Um, he's attacking the middle of the field with posts. He's doing a lot of good things, and it's it's giving me some trouble. 
Um, so really what we're just trying to do is guess which what he wants to do on a given play and try to stop it and then maybe get ahead on the sticks on a sack here or there. So right here, um, after that we hit the zig route, we gained three, which we probably could have gained more, but we bounced back. And then we probably could have gained more there on the wheel, but we bounced back. But regardless, I did not even see Mel Blunt out there. I remember I said it on stream, I was like, I literally just didn't even see him. It was like he blended in with the field to my eyes or something. I don't know. I literally just thought that was a decent read. Like, I, like it was just a hard flat out there. Throw it right to him. So obviously it was super blind. I really just didn't see that guy. There wasn't even any pressure on me. I literally just didn't see it and threw it to him. So no no excuses from me there. I just didn't see him. And we we throw a pick. And he gets a touchdown for it. So now we're even on stops. Uh, that stop we got earlier in the game. Uh, we kind of just gave it away right there. But the fact of the matter is we're fine. It's our ball at halftime. Um, so we can just go get seven here. We're still golden. We'll be tied with the ball, so it's not it's not the end of the world. Um, right here, we go back to our to our new money play. I'm telling you guys, the updates are coming soon. Just give me a week. I'm finding new dots every day. This is one I just found before this stream. Um, the new updates to the ebooks are coming soon. Give me like a week or two before I can find everything for you guys. Just so you guys is perfect. And we throw a nice little zig and spin. We get out of bounds. Save our timeouts. Just let the clock stop. Um, but now I can just take my time, make sure I get all my play calls in as we go back to the run there. But I'm telling you guys, if the ebook update is going to be good. This Elite Route Specialist has really been good for me. Um, right there, I don't want to say he got lucky, but as I did my motion in, it brought the blitzer in and gave him like a speed boost off the line. So he was able to get an easy sack. Right there, he tries to bait me into the S post, but I was just waiting for him to take that one step and we throw a laser. So great drive. We're able to even it up. Uh, now we're just thinking don't give up any points before halftime and we'll be we'll be in great shape because it'll be our ball at half at tie and tied But right here uh, there's 21 seconds left So I'm thinking I can't be too passive because he will get a field goal But I also can't be too aggressive and give up a touchdown. So I'm um, just trying to be like a little bit intermediate give him right about there. It's perfect like five to eight um, Make him take his timeouts keep him in bounds, but don't give up a touchdown Right there, I have no idea how he got this off. I must have touched my safety by accident, which gave him the PA the PA fade on the outside. And it would have been just a field goal, but Julio Jones breaks the tackle. So we, we catch an awful break before halftime, guys. Um, we, we really just... We just really gave up a, a, a touchdown fade. I don't really know what to say. I mean, I guess I touched my safety. I didn't think that I did. But I apparently did, and it gave him that outside leverage, and he was able to get a touchdown from it. So it's a really tough break, but regardless here, we're going to try to bounce back. Um, it's still our ball, so we can still go cut this lead down to seven. I mean, we can go tie it with seven. So it's not the end of the world, as I apologize for the sirens, guys. There's nothing I can do. Baltimore, baby. And right here, so I saw something right here. I saw that he gave me that streak. And I'm going to pause it and mute. I'm not cutting, but I'm pausing. I want you all Sorry guys, my apologies, we're back. All right, now I saw that I had the inside streak, he didn't man it up, and he had to cover the flat himself. I knew he was gonna have to do that again, so I put the streak out there, and that was my first read, and he had manned it up, and then I missed my running back, so bad job by me. I tried to run the same play twice because I saw something, but he made a good adjustment, and then I missed my running back read, so that sucked. We go to fourth and seven here. We go to a play that we've had a lot of success with all game, and we have some success again. We hit our corner route over the top, and it's a laser, boys. So we're into the red zone here. Big play coming up. We need to get in the end zone here. It's very, very important. And right here, I saw something. He used that, that post, and I had my curl out on my tight end butt naked, man. So I go back to the exact same play, hoping he goes out there again, and this time he's on the curl. And Michael Vick, he does Michael Vick-like things. I dodge him. I got lucky as anything, and we'll take our touchdown. So this game has had a lot of fluke, man. Um, he got a fluky touchdown before half. He got the fluke run touchdown, and I get that fluke touchdown right there. Um, sometimes this is where the game plays right now. You just kind of get lucky. Right here, we do. he tries to catch me lacking. I talked to him about this play earlier. He thought I might get aggressive on this second down, but really I just kind of played a base coverage. And he, so he put four streaks in the field, and nothing was open, but... He had an eternity plus one in the pocket, so he was able to hit something coming back. So, fortunate play for him there to get a huge game without really having to, like, draw up anything. Um, but at the same time, I really didn't send too much pressure, so he's going to get time in the pocket when I don't. Um, 
So I can't really say it was too lucky. It was just a fortunate play. Um, and with the way the game plays right now, it's really, really tough to stop sneak and fullback dive. Um, you're just going to get the fall forward animation if you do anything like that. So good, good draw by him. Makes it a... Uh, Makes it a fourth and uh, so it makes it makes us down seven in the fourth quarter. So we're in a tough spot. We need to go get points here, and uh, we have our post, but he just slips up on the crosser. So I threw it, and Michael Vick just doesn't get it done for me there. Right here, we go to our uh, playmaker hitch, and we get a fourth and one. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to uh, sneak, but I've seen someone post sneak defense earlier. So I was going to go to fullback dive, and I forgot to put Vernon at fullback. Obviously, no one in salary cap carries a fullback. I forgot to put Vernon there, so I couldn't go to it, and there was no way I was blowing a timeout. So I was like, you know what? Power O should work, and Dalvin Cook just doesn't fight for me. He was on aggressive. I, I don't know. I think I get that first down 9 out of 10 times with Power O versus Big Nickel over G, but fact of the matter is, on this given day, didn't happen for me, and I didn't want to blow a timeout, so I have given the ball back. Down 10 now, Fact. Uh, so we're thinking, okay, quick, quick three or seven. Whatever it is, whatever I get, I need it to be quick, and I need to make this drive go, 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 and keep all three of my timeouts. I can't take my timeouts. So perfect laser right there. We pick up about 25, just what I need to do, and then we're rolling here. Uh, and we take our drag. We get a big-time spin, and we do stay in bounds because the two-minute warning was coming up, so it didn't really matter if I got out of bounds or not. Just take my extra yards that I can get. So perfect drive, two dots. We picked up about 20 plus on each. Right here, try to hit our new route. We probably wouldn't get out of bounds. Probably we're gonna get out of bounds there, but we weren't able to get it. Right here though, we hit our corner route, straight up laser, and even better, we fumble out of bounds. So the clock stops. Uh, right here, we're going, we're trying to pull off a playmaker dot and this guy gets off the pass rush. Now I knew he was on aggressive because of the way his guys rushed right there. There was no way he wasn't on aggressive. So I, I came out as quickly as I could and uh and fake hiked him right here we go to our favorite money play in the red zone and we just couldn't get the animation but since i'm already down here i'm thinking not three seven i'm gonna give it my four, my three shots at the end zone and then if i do get stopped here i will kick three but we draw up our play that we drew up before he uses the crosser and we take our curl so we have a shot guys we've cut it to three we just have to get three straight stops and we'll get the ball back and we'll try to get our three Right here, I play, I pull all out against the run. I manned up a bunch of people, blitz six, and he sends out the drag. Perfect play by him. They give him the fall forward, and boys, that's the game, man. Uh, he doesn't take a knee here, but he ends up taking a knee later, and he just punts it out of bounds. So no, no, re no reason to make it any longer than it needs to be. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe, and I would really, really, really appreciate it, man. If you guys would drop, keep dropping likes on these videos for me, I really appreciate y'all. Decroft did go on to win the game, uh, win the tournament, so kudos to him. Take it easy, man. Peace. Oh, sorry guys. Before I cut, uh, make sure you guys follow Decroft on Twitch. His link's in the description. Appreciate you. Peace. Ha <laughs> ha.